then a delegation that came here for a week and it completely changed my life and opened my eyes to new opportunities and ways to help the world and so I decided to come back and teach English for eight months here and live here with the pastor and his family and it opened my eyes to people who live here in Katerina and in Nicaragua that at first glance you think oh they have nothing they're poor but then in reality they give you all their hearts and change your life. project was started to be a um, way to find uh, a sustainable way to bring capital to help people in Nicaragua. A way that it, instead of just giving money to people for a certain project and then when everybody's gone, the money's gone and the project is done, we wanted to find a way that to keep the money going to make it sustainable. It started by a, a gentleman and a group of people in Nicaragua and a, a gentleman and a group of people here in the U.S. meeting in Nicaragua and and trying to find this, this answer. What can we do to help that's going to keep going? And out of that came, um, came an idea to try and tap the tourist industry. Tourist industry in Nicaragua was in embryo stages. And it has been tapped already by other countries, trying to build hotels, trying to do things, and then taking the money out of the country, out of Nicaragua, not helping the people. So, uh, you know, we began talking, well, how, why don't we do something we can keep the money here? We kept talking about, well, you know, we're a small church. We don't have a, a lot of money to give. You know, what could we do that would make a difference? And what came out of our discussions, what came out from the community down there was what they most needed was jobs. And the other piece that actually came out of the project is cultural exchange. So what we realized is through, through us going back and forth over the years, what's happened is people have been growing in a variety of ways, just learning about each other's cultures, learning about themselves. wonderful community, uh, they're wonderful people, and um, it really is important to me in that I get the opportunity of helping people come more engaged in their own community for their own well-being.
considero el proyecto, la fundación El Puente, un proyecto que ha venido trabajándose de años atrás y lo hemos considerado muy importante porque es una oportunidad para la gente de Nicaragua, para la gente de Catarina e incluso pues este proyecto vendrá a beneficiar a mucha gente pobre que muchas veces no tienen trabajo, o mucha gente no tiene trabajo y se abre, este proyecto abrirá una, es una oportunidad para que la gente más pobre tenga un, un trabajo y de otra manera también pues ayude a, a, a beneficiar a los jóvenes y a los niños y madres solteras. When Bayardo told me that the most important target this program is to help people here in Catarina, poor people, most women, I thought it's, it's a very, very good idea to help women because here in Nicaragua, most of the women are single and mother uh, trying to to help their children. I think it's it's, it's excellent idea to work with women. El proyecto de la escuela de español y, y hotel el, el que está creando la fundación El Puente le daría a ellas esa oportunidad de trabajo para que pudieran sostener a, a sus familias, a sus hijos. Y esta es la problemática más grande. Yo pienso que estaríamos poniendo en las manos de esas mujeres la herramienta necesaria para que ellas puedan sacar adelante sus familias de una manera muy honesta y por supuesto brindarles la oportunidad que necesitan para que ellas puedan salir adelante. We're not just getting donors from the U.S., we're getting donors from Nicaragua, too. This is a truly joint effort. Both of the boards are volunteers. Um, people are not getting paid for this. And the people down there are getting excited because once we get revenue in, then we can do things like support clinics, support um, you know, medical facilities. We already have, every time our delegation goes down, we bring donations. We bring um, you know, clothing and, and stuff for kids. We bring medical supplies, wheelchairs and crutches and, and uh, musical instruments and all kinds of wonderful things that, that people can, can use to, to move their lives along and, and make things work better. And the neatest thing is when you go down with us, you get to meet the people that are actually using them. One of the things that, that people ask me a lot and, and the people in the project here is, why are you helping those people there when there's so much need here? And my answer is, our neighbors are the world. Our neighbors are not just the people living next door to us, but our neighbors are the world. And yes, it's true, we're having difficulties right now. We have economic difficulties. People don't have as much as they used to have. Um, but that doesn't matter. We're giving what we can. And every little bit that we give helps. Um, when we're having a tough time here in the U.S., in Nicaragua, they're bleeding. For me, I, uh, I always enjoy when I go on vacations, uh, picking up new culture and interacting um, with people, enjoying the local food, and when I go to Katerina, I, I can't help but do that. And the, uh, the ties that I formed that way have uh, stayed with me, so there, there are some people there that I've only seen a couple of weeks of my life that I still feel very close to really changed the way that I see the world in a nutshell. Uh, it really sort of balanced out you know, what, I, what I knew before with a whole new way of, of seeing the world. I'm staying involved with the project because uh, I see the potential in the town and in the people and I know that with our help they can continue to develop as a kid. I didn't know anything about Nicaragua. I didn't know about the people, the history, anything. So I went down there met people, people took me into their homes, they didn't have a clue who I was, what I was about. Um, they, I spent time with their children, their mothers, their grandmothers, uh, all over Nicaragua, all different places. And they're in my heart now. I would like people to know um, that uh, Nicaragua is a very loving place to be. They were like my family. Oh, my God.